Paul, yeah. <laughs> um, I was looking in this dictionary. There's a word called incentive. Uh -huh. uh, some, something inciting one to action or effort, a stimulus. <laughs> incentive. <laughs> a stimulus, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, just thinking of it, yeah. <laughs> I was watching this um, the show yeah, this morning about incentives. Yeah. <laughs> it seems that some governments, they will pay people yes, uh, to build uh, different types of electricity producing innovations. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, they're putting windmills in the ocean. <laughs> now, I know that the wind blows in the ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just wondered, are the incentives of the government being used to produce the greatest amount of electricity, <laughs> considering the dollars that are being spent? Now, let's say you're the nation of Taiwan. You're over there, right? And there seems to be an electricity shortage where you don't have a reserve of at least 6%. Yes. And your government will pay uh, businesses mm -hmm, to build green energy technology, yes, to produce electricity so that um, it can be sold to the population, right? And they do that through the use of incentives. <laughs> Happens to be a word that I really like as, um, as a citizen, yes, as well as a, a person that has some innovations. <laughs> now, let's say we looked at Taiwan. They want a 6% reserve of the electricity available to the population. Yes. Consistently. All right. And they've been incentive. They've been incentivizing. Yes. Uh, solar panels and wind turbines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for the money of building those uh, wind turbines in the ocean and installing them, <laughs> Could you build a steam generator, yes, that desalinates salt water, yes, for the uh, same amount of money, but it would produce more electricity for the incentives that you're paying? Now, this is something you have to think about. It's nice that governments offer incentives, yes. The question is, are they getting the most electricity for the incentives that they are offering? Yeah. Now, I would like to know, okay, of each and every nation of the world, how much reserve electricity would you like to have available to your populations? And then I would like to know the incentives available yes. to an individual that has a technology yeah, that would probably produce 10 times the amount of electricity <laughs> for the incentives that you're paying to install uh, wind turbines in the ocean. Now, I dislike the thought, yes, mm -hmm, of wind turbines in the ocean <laughs> that happen to be, um, well, they're in salt water. Yeah. Yeah. Got a large amount of salt water. <laughs> you put a wind turbine in salt water. Yes. And your thought was, well, we have to give an incentive. Yes. To the businesses that put that there. Now, let's say you didn't have wind turbines there. Yes. And you put a steam generator on the land next to the ocean. Yes. And you pump the salt water in and it um, it separated the salt from the water. That's right. Mm -hmm. I heat it up to maybe oh, two, three, four thousand 3, 4,000 degrees. Yes. As the water cools, yes, it produces electricity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you get the fresh water as the population because you're buying the steam generator. Yes. But I get the salt. <laughs> now, there's this problem. When I look at the incentives right now, oh, I like that word because I know that my technology is greener <clears throat> than the shit you've been buying. <laughs> and to have a little island named Taiwan <laughs> surrounded by salt fucking water. 